Lead poisoning has been a serious problem in Syracuse for years. Simply testing your home and kids for lead can help to address and reduce exposure. But the Central New York Community Foundation is finding families are not getting it done. As News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran tells us, funding and a new partnership will help figure out why. In the city of Syracuse, a majority of homes were built before lead was federally banned in 1978. Children in older homes can be exposed to lead dust. That can poison a child for their whole life. And so the rates are pretty high in certain parts of the community. About countywide, they're about 5%, but in the city, it doubles to around 11%. The Central New York Community Foundation has a number of outreach efforts to help homeowners make their homes safer. The organization has found that a number of families are not testing their homes and children for lead. That's scary because that's the front lines of making sure that our children are safe. The foundation is providing a $40,000 grant for a partnership between the Center for Court Innovation and Planned Parenthood of Western and Central New York. The groups will host dinner and kitchen table talks with neighbors. We're hoping that these kitchen table talk conversations will help us get to the bottom of what are the barriers? What's keeping everyday people from having this important testing done. The groups hope to get talks started in January. They will begin with neighbors on Syracuse's west side. The goal is to provide them with information and the tools they need to keep their communities safe from lead. In Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9. You can head to localesquire.com. We will connect you to the Center for the Courts Innovations Facebook page where they do share their outreach.